Well, the 96 Academy Awards, the Oscars, happening tonight in Los Angeles. And for a preview now, I'm joined live from Oscars red carpet by ETOX Tyrone Edwards. So we're still about four hours away from the show's opening. Tyrone, when does that red carpet really get going? <laughs> oh, it's going. It's, uh, it's already going. Uh, the streets have been closed for days. Now you're starting to see the limos. You're starting to see glimpses of a couple of the stars. You're seeing all the execs coming in as well. It's, it's, it's the biggest show in Hollywood. It's the biggest night in Hollywood. So people are here. They're early. They're well-dressed. They're excited. Everybody's on their P's and Q's and got good manners. Everybody looks their best, smells their best. Uh, it's high. It's high energy and good vibes. Tyrone, tell me, as, as the correspondent there along the red carpet for eTalk, how do you prepare for this night? Like, what's your red carpet strategy to try to get the stars, writers, directors, etc.? How do you how do you tackle this? You know what? I think there's a difference between the kind of questions that you ask when you when you sit down and you get the opportunity to to sit down. Like, for example, I sat with um, Lily Gladstone recently for 20 minutes. Different stream of questioning. Today, when I see Lily, I want to talk about fashion. I want to talk about how much fun that she's had on this journey throughout uh, award season. And I think what's most important when you're on the red carpet has been paying attention to what's going on. You know, paying attention to the types of things that they're reposting. What what really interests them? What's really going to make them happy? I, my goal and my approach is to make this a celebratory tone throughout the entire night. We're not getting into any deep questions. I'm not looking for any gossip. I'm just here to celebrate film because that's what we all love. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely the biggest night and of course Tyrone you know um, Sonia Mungat on CB24 Breakfast has been giving us all the details of the different red carpets you've been doing in the award season lead up here what are your expectations this evening do you see any surprises or do you think what we've seen from SAG and Golden Globes etc are going to be really predictors of what we're going to see tonight I'll tell you this 100 and 10%, there will be a surprise. Whether that's in the best picture category, uh, whether that's best lead actress, there will be a surprise. The reason why I say that is because if you've been watching the Oscars over the years, the Oscars doesn't, they're, they're not, um, they don't feel like they have to follow what the SAG does or what Critics' Choice does or what Indie Spirit Award does. The, the Academy does what the Academy wants to do, and they, they give the awards to who they feel deserves it best. So tonight, I'm, I'm almost certain there will be surprises. Plus, there's going to be some positive surprises. We're going to see some great performances. We're going to see a lot of big stars that aren't nominated tonight that maybe are just here in the capacity of presenters as mm. well. So uh, lots of surprises because this is Hollywood, baby. Yeah, and the list of presenters is impressive tonight. I I'm really curious, Tyrone, because as you're talking, we're cutting away to a couple of different shots along the red carpet. It looks enormous can you tell us about your position on the carpet like sort of what's your position and, and like what's all around you well listen I am so proud to uh, to work for CTV because we've got the number two spot on the carpet we're right here the, wow. right to my left like literally right there is the photo wall so every big name uh, celebrity that is attending tonight will be at that wall taking all their photos and then they got to walk by me well not walk mm -hmm. by they got at least come this way so hopefully they'll stop by and chat with us so I can send that back home. Who are you most looking forward to talking to? Is there someone you haven't spoken to in award season or you had just sort of a super brief conversation? I know that they don't get in depth on the red carpet but who are you most looking forward to tonight? Yeah. You know what? I, I really want to talk to Paul Giamatti. I don't know if you've had mm -hmm. the opportunity to see Holdovers, Hold but it's just, to me, it's the, the film um, tonight that is the easiest to love. It's it's just like a holiday classic feel. So I would love to chat with him. I would love to chat with Zendaya. I only ever interviewed her virtually during the pandemic. So uh, it would be nice to get some face-to-face -face with her. Uh, Coleman Domingo. Um, there's so many. Anya Taylor-Joy. I love her as well. Um, yeah, there, there's just so many. There, there's Tyrone, so many. Before I let and, you go, um, I, just, I gotta ask. You've got a show after the show tonight. Uh, tell us about that show. Okay, so here, for everybody that's watching and listening right now, we invite you to come and celebrate the Oscars. We're doing the first ever live after show. It goes on at 10.30. So immediately, immediately following the award show, we will be up in the Hollywood Hills shooting back. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be celebratory. It's going to be like a party. Come, we'll, We're going to unwrap the red carpet. We're going to unwrap the big wins, the big surprises, as you mentioned earlier. Um, and we're going to talk everything Oscars. Myself, Lainey Louie, Tracy Melshore. That is E-Talk after the Oscars. It's never been done before, and I'm so excited. Okay, lots to look forward to then. Listen, Tyrone Edwards, thanks for taking time, because I know you got a busy night ahead. Good luck tonight, and we'll look forward to all the coverage throughout.
Come on, anything for back home. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time. All right, and you.